right, so if I'm not mistaken and the car is in the correct place, it should be like, I see it. Oh, oh let's go. Petru, welcome back to the channel. Gas to be recording this video right now. Well, you might be thinking actually, where the hell are we? Why are you recording this intro in like a freaking car park? Well, basically, your boy's getting a whipski. I have not had a car for like eight months or so, which isn't so bad living in London. And I did buy a motorbike and I was really, really enjoying the motorbike life. But I think it's time for a new era. And in this video, we will be picking up my new car. Let's freaking get into it. Okay, you cool. thank you. No Cheers, mate. So they've actually just given me the key because he's finishing off a collection right now. So he just told me to like go and hunt for it. And it's in this corner over there somewhere. He's given me the key. He said I can start it, but I just can't move it and then wait for him basically. Let's freaking go. All right, so if I'm not mistaken and the car is in the correct place, it should be like three bays over here. I see it. Oh. Let's go! No way, look at it! Oh, look at this, look at this! Oh! Oh, yeah. Yo! Oh, nah, this is so, so, I'm so gassed to have a car again. Oh. And this thing is a little beast. When I was thinking like, oh, do I really need a car? Like, you know, it'll be summer soon. I'll have my bike and it's not going to be that deep and da, da 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 When I like made the decision like, nah, I'm going to look for a car. I was thinking, but what can I get that's like small? I didn't want like some big car. Like, because I genuinely don't enjoy driving around in London. Like, it drives me crazy. And that's why I love the bike so much because I'm just like always on the move. I never wait for traffic. I'm always <laughs> weaving in and out. Like, I'm always moving and I'm always, always way faster than any of my friends in a car but sometimes it was just a little bit inconvenient as i said when i made the decision like right i'm gonna get a car i didn't really know what i actually wanted and then i saw somebody driving an a bath and it was done up so nicely it was in like a dark matte gray and I was like, oh, that is so sick, low key. Like, that's really cool. It's small. It's really fast and nippy. Like, I want something I enjoy driving. And I think, well, I know I'm going to enjoy driving this. I want to start it up. I want to hear the pops and bang. Whipski. <laughs> Do you like it, man? I love it. I'm obsessed, to be honest. And kaboom. Damn. So, yeah, just sent the money over. And now, yeah, just literally waiting to do some paperwork. We've been here like an hour now, low key. And I'm like, <laughs> like itching to drive it. The salesman was with somebody else for like a good while. And I was just watching them like, hurry up, hurry up. Money sent through. He's gone to go and get the contract and all the other paperwork. And like, we are this close. All the papers sorted. Nagis is waiting for me over there, so let's freaking go. There it is. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah. Cheers, man. Uh, Appreciate it. Pleasure. Shout, yeah? Will do. Cheers. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Cheers. Whoa, we're freaking off. <laughs> let's go. Yo, no more bike life. can't vlog and drive. Imagine, of course, they sell me the car with, when I tell you, zero miles. I mean, zero no, miles. No, One and a half really... miles. Eight minutes away. I think we can make it. We're driving out! <laughs> First time driving it. 
Oh my word. It's got a bit of kick to it, I'll tell you that. Is it? Yeah. You need to work out the pedals. The pedals loose. You can go straight to the floor, that's what you can do. I just need to make it to the petrol station actually at this point. I wonder how much a fuel tank's gonna be. A fuel tank? <laughs> A full tank. For you guys in the UK, by the way, if you do not use the Shell app, then you're doing something wrong. You literally don't have to leave your car or go in there. Select the pump, do a full tank, face ID, and then it just says, like, ready to fuel, bang, that. Okay, yeah, go on. Fuel's ready to be pumped up. The air bus ready to be pumped. Yo, look at the petrol cap. Metal. It's like the heaviest petrol cap I've ever felt in my life. Where do I put that? I don't want it clanking on my paint job. Right, mate. Let's see the damage on a full tank. How much do you reckon? 62. Oh, we are in like Liverpool. Should be a bit cheaper. Okay, but okay. 54, 54. 54? Yeah. I was going to say 52. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Alright, so once we fill the full tank up, I think we need to take it for a serious little mm -hmm. whip. I want to see what kind of acceleration we're dealing with on this little thing. And also, we have, well, SatNav says it's three hours and what? Three and a half hours. Yeah, so, uh, three hours, 10 minutes. Three hours, 10. So I'm hoping to do that in like two and a half. Oh my God, I'm stepping alive. <laughs> we had like no fuel coming here. So I was like wary to step on it. But when I did, wow, you're lying. Full tank, under 50 pounds. Just for the sake of I want to use the boot, take the jacket off in it. Use the big boot space that we got. Let's freaking go. It's been a week since I've owned this bad boy and I absolutely love it. I couldn't be happier with it. Like I find myself just like wanting to just get in it and drive around and go nowhere like you know what I mean? you keep doing that too can we just go and like get this or can we just go and get that for no apparent reason whatsoever other than to just enjoy the car it is the perfect car for me like it's small it's fast it looks sick and it's just kind of perfect for whipping about in london but one of the things i love about it most is it sounds so nice i haven't showed you guys it or i haven't really shown you guys the car actually driving So just had a little bit of fun going, uh, well, up and down the road. But there you have it, guys. You have seen the new whip. A new era has begun. Yes, it has. And honestly, guys, I cannot thank you enough for all the support over the last few years. Like, it would not be possible to purchase cars like this and all of the other crazy stuff you guys have seen me do on this channel throughout the years. So I just wanted to say a huge thank you to you guys specifically the few thousand of you who are watching my videos now all these years later i appreciate you so so much smash a like on this video if you made it this far and comment down below what you think of the car make sure you're subscribed if you are new here and you're not already subscribed and i will see you next sunday for next week's video peace